Follow up for the featured John and Chich Fowler Memorial EBF Mayor's Chase. It's a grade three as they're sent on the way. And it is the Porter's Town Ford Ferry Hill Run who sets off to make it from Scarlet and Dove. And they're tracked by the nose banded Bally Shannon Rose Dolchita and her stable companion Augusta Gold as they lift off the fence one. All safely over, Ferry Hill Run taken on on either side by Bally Shannon Rose and Scarlet and Dove. And then Dolchita and Augusta Gold racing a bit out from the other four. Fence number two, Bally Shannon Rose landed with a fractional advantage from Ferry Hill Run, Scarlet and Dove. Third behind Mount Ida and Elloway in last year's renewal is close up in behind the first pairing and then Augusta Gold and Dolchita. Turning in to the two fences in the straight, Precious Little Between and the Green Cap Ferry Hill Run Harry Swan. White nose band and cap, Bally Shannon Rose, Keen Cullinan. Break of a few lengths to Scarlet and Dove, Brian Cooper. Away to the left is Dolcheat and Danny Mullins with Augusta Gold in rear of the quintet, Daryl Jacob. On to fence number four, and the final fence in the circuit's time, Bally Shannon Rose, a most respectable seventh in the Paddy Power, comes towards the fourth just leading on the approach, Ferry Hill Run, and then Scarlet and Dove, Dolcita with the back marker, Augusta Gold. A circuit of race, 11 fences left to jump, and the John and Chich Fowler Memorial EBF Mayor's Grade 3 chase, over two miles, five furlongs, Bally Shannon Rose in front of Ferry Hill Run, Scarlet and Dove, Dolcita on the rail, fifth of the five, the 2021 winner, Augusta Gold. Heading away from the stands to fences five, six, and seven. Bally Shannon Rose in front of Ferry Hill Run. And third is Scarlet and Dove, angled towards the outside of the track. Dolcita keeps to the inner, Augusta Gold at the rear. Fence number five, Bally Shannon Rose over in front of Ferry Hill Run. Scarlet and Dove being followed by Dolcita. Who will return with a win in the T.A. Morris Memorial Mares at Clonmel, beating two of today's rivals as they leave behind them their first ditch. And on to the last in this line. Taking them towards the halfway stage, Bally Shannon Rose, followed by Scarlet and Dove, who's moved to dispute second with Ferry Hill Run, and then the stable companions, Dolcita, and lastly, Augusta Gold. Right up at Bally Hag. Eight more fences left to jump. And it's Bally, Shannon Rose, and Keen Cullinan. Two and a half in front of Scarlet and Dove. Brian Cooper sharing second with Ferry Hill Run, the Mount of Harry Swan. Augusta Gold, Daryl Jacob swap a place with Dolcheet and Danny Mullins. The fence right across from the stands is Bally, Shannon Rose, extending her lead to four lengths over Scarlet and Dove, Ferry Hill Run, Augusta Gold, and Dolcheet as they make the descent to the next two fences on the far side. Just over a mile to go, seven to jump. It's Bally Shannon Rose enjoying a three lead over Scarlet and Dove, who jumped it well and as a result got closer. Augusta Gold picks off another one, has moved into the third out of Dolcita and starting to struggle as Ferry Hill Run. Seven furlongs to go, another five fences left to jump, and the John and Chich Fowler Memorial EBF Mayor's Chase. Bally Shannon Rose out in front by five. To Scarlet and Dove, length and a half in front of the third running Augusta Gold, who was tracked by Dolcita with Ferry Hill Run getting a squeeze by Harry Swan last of the five. Three quarters of a mile to go, five fences left to jump, and it's Bally Shannon Rose the leader from Scarlet and Dove, and then Augusta Gold, Dolcita on the inside, jumped up to dispute the third with her stable companion, and then Ferry Hill Run, passing their point of departure. Four fences left to go. Bally Shannon Rose, not so far in front of Scarlet and Dove, who's within a couple of lengths. And then on the outside, Augusta Gold and the Blinkers. On the inside, in the red and pink, is Dolcita with fifth of five, Ferry Hill Run. Coming to the third last fence with half a mile to go. And with the nose bandits, Bally Shannon Rose continuing in front, poised as Scarlet and Dove, along with Dolcita. And then Augusta Gold and Ferry Hill Run as they jump the third last fence. 
Their homeward bound Ferry Hill run is parted company with Harry Swan at the back of the field as Harry quickly sits up. It's Bally Shannon Rose, tracked in by Scarlet and Dove, Dolcheet and Augusta Gold. They're the four left going as they race into the straight to the final two fences in the John and Chich Fowler Memorial EBF Mayor's Grade 3 Chase. Leveling off for home, two to jump. And it's in the center, Bally Shannon Rose. On the right, Scarlet and Dove coming to challenge. Dolce sheeted there on the left. Going on from in fourth place is Augusta Gold. They're spacing themselves out in the straight. Scarlet and Dove right over towards the near side is sticking out. On the left is Dolce sheeted. They're wide apart. Bally Shannon Rose can't give any more. Coming to the final fence and it's Scarlet and Dove, the leader from Dolce sheeted. Scarlet and Dove over the last from Dolce sheeted. They're well cleared of Bally Shannon Rose. 150 yards left to go and it's Scarlet and Dove back to herself and back on the score sheet in the John and Chich Fowler Memorial Mayor's Chase. One impressively for trainer Joseph O'Brien who's having a fine run this Christmas with Dolce to second, Bally Shannon Rose third and the only other one to get round and fourth, Augusta Gold. Yes, yeah, Joseph O'Brien's a fine run over Christmas continues. He lands the feature event here at the John and Chich Fowler Memorial Great Chase. Of course, the Scarlet and Dove, she's been some servant. She was third in the race last year to Mount Ida. She's bolted up this year. Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. Uh, we thought that she was coming here in good shape. Uh, she ran well the last day in Clonmel and tough ground. Uh, she's a big, gross mare. She takes a bit of getting fit and I uh, thought it was a good performance today. Two very good mares pulling away from a good mare as well. And I imagine you were confident as you could be coming here today to turn it around the Clomel run with Dolcheeta because you were giving her £11 in Clomel, you were £9 better off today and you had the run under your belt. Yeah, well, well we, we, we did think that uh, we certainly would get a lot closer to her and, uh, you know, to pull with the weight but also, you know, to pull fitness-wise just because the filly naturally take, takes a couple of runs to get fit. Um, and, uh, yeah, we thought we'd certainly give her a bit more of a run for her money today and delighted with that performance and, you know, she looks like she's at least a good mare this year. If not, hopefully she might be a bit better. Exactly, I presume all roads will lead back to the Mayor's Chase at Cheltenham where it was such an agonising defeat, just run out of a close home last year. Yeah, like I mean, you know, she ran a huge race there last year. You could argue to say she was a fraction unlucky, but that's the way, that's the way it goes. It was a great run, she just missed the last and uh, um, I'd imagine we'd go there now with, with a run somewhere between now and there. Um, that'd be the plan. And she's uncomplicated to ride, as you saw here today, because we've seen her make it in the past, which she did at grade one, or when she won her grade two final run of the season, bounced out, made all of Punchestown. Today she dropped in because you knew there was going to be plenty of pace on with Bally Shannon Rose and Fairy Hill running it. Yeah, no, she is, and, and she's really got her jumping together well. As a novice, she, she, she was always a very good jumper, but she used to put in a, an, odd, an odd mistake, uh, whereas today she was pretty good all the way. She had a little guess at one down the back, but everything was, was, was in, well in control. So she's, she's really got together over the last couple of years and you know hopefully it's a big year for her. That's a fourth success at graded level. She's a dual grade two winner and now a dual grade three winner as well. Yeah absolutely and I suppose obviously with a, be, being a, a mayor with as good a pedigree as she has you know winning a grade one would be huge so so um, uh, that's that's what we're trying to do with her. Oh, can, will we see much of her between now and Cheltenham? Is there anything in the in the midterm weather maybe Dublin Racing Festival? Yeah, yeah to be quite honest I, I don't know where but I would like to run somewhere um, because she, like I say, she just takes a bit of getting fit, um, so so I wouldn't like to go all the way from now to Cheltenham without a run somewhere. So so yeah, yeah we'd look for a, a mayor's chase somewhere um, uh, if we can find one. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com. <laughs>